Derek, what came over you in the fourth? Hit four threes, help to put this thing away. I mean, I'm just getting great looks. Um, obviously, a lot of attention to everybody else, and uh, I got wide open looks, I got to knock them down. That starting unit had 29 assists in this game. How fun is it when the ball is moving like that? Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Um, we got so many weapons. I mean, obviously, Drew is out tonight, but Al stepped up huge, made so many winning plays for us, and uh, it's a lot of fun playing that way. This is in the Atlanta Hawks, one of the better offenses in the league. How are you guys able to hold them off just enough? Yeah, I mean, still 117 is a lot. I mean, they're a great offense. Obviously, Trey does a lot for them, and uh, it's tough to slow down, but uh, I'm sure Joe's going to get on us a lot in the locker room about it, and uh, we got to learn from it and get better from it. That being said, how much do you enjoy, how much did you enjoy the spry Al Horford? Get him some time off. He looked so fresh out there tonight. Al's amazing. Uh, that's all you can really say about Al. He does so many things for us on the court, off the court, that just help us win games, and uh, he's amazing. Derek, thank you. Congratulations. Appreciate it. TD Garden, also a big fourth quarter for Derek White. Scal joining us live right now, courtside. And Scal, Derek White with four May threes in the fourth quarter. Just what level does Derek White go to when the game is on the line? It was crazy, the shot he made in front of the Atlanta Hawk bench. It was almost as if he was fading out of bounds, kind of like that Sean Elliott back in the day. Probably you weren't even born when that happened no. with Mina Smith. But he had his <laughs> tiptoes on, and he was letting it fly. I, I just thought that shot right there got him going. And it's almost at this – and I may, tell me if I'm wrong with you guys. When – it's the fourth quarter, and Derek White gets an open three. I'll be shocked if he misses any of those. So Derek White kind of opened this game up for us, gave us that cushion. And I talk about this a lot with the Celtic team. We got a lot of ways to win. We got a big margin of error. In the first half, we didn't shoot the ball well from three, but we got inside. Second half, it was all about the three, and fourth quarter, definitely about the three in Derek White's play. In what way, though, also did Derek White step up in the absence of Drew Holiday tonight? So that's a great question. I mean, there was a point where, you know, Drew Holiday likes to work that low dunker. I know a lot of people don't know that spot. That's like underneath the basket. Well, it, it switches things up so you don't have to play five out. A lot of guys don't want to make that sacrifice. Derek White has no problem. He stretches the floor, and then there are times in possessions where he's going down and working that dunker. Your spacing is so much better. Guys like Porzingis get a wide open look. Brown and Tatum have more driving lanes. So he takes the, the sacrifice of of, of offensively of like, you know what, I'll sacrifice some of my stuff and go down here and work it. And remember that Al Horford play when he drove to the middle and Derek White relocated on the baseline? Well, that's the usual Drew Holiday spot. And defensively, he was great. Like, Derek White never stopped pursuing the ball. He was relentless at trying to get two screens on Trey Young. He took that challenge. And you know, if you kind of look at it, Trey Young was asked to be an all-star today. And it looked like Derek White took that personal. To add, the commissioner at um, Adam Silver ended up picking Trey Young, and now Derek White kind of made it known, like, even though you got Trey Young and the fan vote, I'm the real all-star here in this game. And also, you mentioned Al Holford, 14 points, 8 rebounds, 8 assists, also 4 blocks in tonight's game. Scout, it looked like Al Horford turned back the hands of time. The knees still work. The body looks good. The days of rest have done him well. What was his impact in this game? I think you called it. If you look at the, you know, the, the grueling month of January where those games are coming at you rapid fire and, you know, you're just trying to get your footing on you. And I thought Al Horford had, you know, a decent January, but you could tell. So you had two days off, a game, two days off, and now you're playing Atlanta. And that made a big difference. Like the Celtics just look completely different out there. They look fresh. And Al Horford in particular just – he was reacting really well. The shot was coming off his hands really well. I mean, besides, I, I think at one point he was four for six from three. Missed his last three, but, I mean, come on. When Al Horford's playing like that and he's stretching the floor, he's making defensive plays. And we weren't great as a team defensively, but Al Horford was great defensively for us. When we talked about Derek White and how much he means to the Celtics team, 21.6 rebounds and seven assists. And, of course, he's got a steal and a block as well. Eddie, I'll start with you. Just how was Derek White able to impact this game? In all the ways you just named, you know, whether it be scoring, whether it be rebounding the basketball, helping on the defensive end, doing the things he needs to do, getting strips, getting steals, uh, getting blocked shots. 
he's always a guy that he, he just does the right things. He makes all the winning plays. He, he does it all the time. And some nights it's not going to be on the scoring end to where you look at the box score and you're like, man, you know, he filled the box score up with this, that, and the other. Sometimes it's just being a disruptor, you know, and the threat of being a guy that can knock down shots. And I think Scal said it, you know, he played around where Drew Holiday plays around a lot in that dunker spot with that short corner area to where, you know, it, it's, you're not playing five out all the time and he's able to cut and his basketball IQ is so high. He's able to just go out there and, and play his game. To me, he did take this a little bit personal. You know, understanding that he had an opportunity to possibly make the All-Star game, knowing Trey, Trey Young was uh, called in to be one of the, the, the fill-ins, you know, the reserves, uh, a guy that, that came in because somebody wasn't there. So I think Derek White is a, is a soft-spoken guy, number one. You don't really know. He doesn't wear his emotions on his sleeve, so you don't know what he's thinking a lot. But his actions on the court – let you know exactly what he's thinking when he goes out there and plays. I'll just say, I mean, do you think Derek White is petty? Oh, you know what? Yeah, and I, honestly, like, <laughs> I look at Derek White and what he did tonight, and I'm like, this, mm -hmm. is, this is typical Derek White to me. So I can't tell if he's doing it because Trey Young <laughs> was, you know, put on the All-Star as an injured replacement as opposed to him. But I feel like this is just a typical night for Derek White. All I know, the Celtics' two best players on the floor tonight were Derek White and Chris Stapps Porzingis. Ah, two players who probably had a little bit of motivation after what Adam Silver <laughs> came out and announced yesterday. And I do think they don't worry about, like, who's on the other side or the circumstances around it. They just want to go out there and be great on a night-to-night -night basis. But I do think there's something in the back of every athlete's mind that's just a little reminder when you look across and they're like, they put that guy in there. Mm. That guy who plays for a team that is scraping to get in the play-in. That guy who was 8 for 25 tonight. And Derek's White, you know what, I, I'm just going to go out there and take over the fourth quarter, do what I do. Like, I don't want to disrespect. I, I don't want to do the IT because, like, you know, I, that was the IT's thing, king in the fourth. But Derek has been really good in fourth quarters this year. He needs to be more in there, and he needs some sort of, like, my time right now. Now you made the case where I, now I feel like Derek White and Chris Dazz Porzingis as they were trying to stick it to the NBA for not being named All-Stars. Uh, I like being petty, so. Yeah, that's probably what it is. <laughs> Chris Dazz Porzingis with 31 points, three Sounds rebounds, like and an assist <laughs> as well.